Hi, I'm Dr. Maxim Chumak, and we're here today at the uh, Herba Dr. Max Restoration Center, formerly known as Maxim Medical in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm here today with Mike, who had his uh, FUE procedure uh, exactly seven months ago. Yeah, seven, eight months ago. Yes, so actually between seven to eight months ago. So what we see today is actually preliminary results. He came here from uh, Detroit, uh, Michigan to have his uh, restoration procedure. Uh, he's in the first year, actually second year of the dental school. So he's studying really hard and I'm sure it's kind of contributing to some of the hair loss. Of course. And, yeah, <laughs> and being, you know, so young, of course, it's, it does affect uh, self-esteem, right, uh, confidence. So uh, I was really delighted, you know, to, uh, to help to regain the self-esteem and being a, you know, you're gonna be a physician soon yourself, right? right? So you have to be uh, always uh, look the best, presentable, right? That's right. important. So why don't you tell us, you know, why, um, why I decided you know, to have a restoration procedure, why you chose us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, about a, about a year ago, I started, you know, seeing like hair loss in the front of my head and I realized like that's where most people, you know, look at me when they talk and, mm -hmm. you know, it, it ended up happening that almost like every day I was very, I started being very self-conscious and I had to like, I was always looking in the mirror to see, you know, how much like hair I'm losing and um, it just really had like played a big impact, you know, on my self-esteem and like how I, you know, am perceived by others. So I really just wanted to know improve that and have a good, great appearance that you know I had before I started losing my hair good good well, right now we don't see the final result yet but you know it's a huge difference since uh, the you know when you started before you came here right yeah no a hundred percent before before the actual procedure you know I, I took a picture and then you know right now I just compared the two and I mean it's just crazy to just to see the difference I mean now I don't mm -hmm. now I don't you know regularly check you know look in the mirror and check uh, how much hair I'm missing because now I'm actually seeing regrowth of hair so what do you think uh, was the reason you decided to do it here okay and how the procedure went what did you observe during the procedure yeah so I mean first off I've had um, other friends of mine that have done hair transplants before and there have you know the, the surgeons that they've done it with you know, they've encountered problems and they just didn't feel like the surgeon was with them. They didn't have complete trust with the surgeon, but um, having Dr. Max on my side and being, you know, in the, you know, in the surgery room and doing everything himself, you know, with his hands, with the harvesting and the implantation, I realized that like, I truly am in good hands. And I know that he was, he was always overlooking everything and making sure that everything was, you know, going, under control and always like I feel like he had my back all the time. We we try to set a new standard in the hair restoration industry and uh, uh, to lead what we call by example. And leading by example that means that uh, unlike uh, unfortunately some of the actually majority of the doctors that uh, limited their involvement in surgery to uh, very little, you know, 30 minutes or you know one hour. I decided that my patients are the most important to me. So I do everything myself. So when we start surgery every single day at 7 a.m., I start the surgery, I do every single surgical manipulation with my own hands. It's the harvesting, anesthesia, uh, treatments, implantation. So I devote the entire day from 7 a.m. until sometime 5 or 6 p.m just to one patient right and you know I, w I was tired at the end of the day but I can only imagine how you know Dr. Max was tired after just being on his feet the whole day overlooking the whole operation and, and you know being involved the whole time yes and but again you know it all translates into results and what we see right now just a little bit over seven months we have a uh, great improvements it's like at night and day and we and we expect much more the um the final um look uh usually established uh, around a year and a half and the reason is because 
each hair will go through energy intelligent phases in the, into dormant phase a little bit then it comes back and until it kind of settles down it will uh, cycle more rapidly once it's all kind of uh, even out all the hairs are growing it takes about 18 months so you can see your final density by that time it is important to also to continue with preventative therapy so it's not the transplant hair will likely stay a lifetime, likely, okay, but your existing hair still might be affected by hair loss, so, so that's, that's an important point. Your experience was so far so good? Amazing, perfect. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better, honestly, because I just always feel like, you know, I have all the support and even, you know, at home when I'm, when I'm in Michigan. Um, I, I still feel like I'm well supported and always, you know, monitor, monitored and just to see like where my progress is and making sure that I'm doing everything right to, you know, keep keep all the hair I have. Yeah, absolutely. We are a small clinic in, uh, and we want to stay this way because we want to provide personalized care, not the uh, huge volume. We want to be approachable anytime our patient can call us, text us email us on Sunday evening and we'll get respond in 30 to 40 minutes. That's what makes it different. It's more personal and we are intended to stay this way. Okay, thanks for uh, sharing your experience and uh, yeah, we look forward to you know to see to see what yeah. how the progress is. Thank you. Good.